Fibber on the extreme outside. Up the rail, Sistina Chapel comes. It's Alpine Princess has led them a long way through three quarters in one minute, 12.81 seconds. Down toward this final fairgrounds furlong with Florent Giroux. Alpine Princess leads West Omaha by five. Sistina Chapel's now through into third, and Legadima's a leg-weary fourth. But coming past the 16th, Alpine Princess had the firepower. Alpine Princess to win the untappable by two. She booked pretty good, and uh, I was going to get squeezed, you know, pretty hard living there, so I just thought the best option was led to my Philly run and uh, not taking a very strong hole uh, coming into the first turn. Uh, she's a big, uh, strong, good-looking Philly. You got her on the lead, got her in a nice rhythm, and it looked like she was going to win pretty convincingly, turn for home. You had one horse that had took a little bit of a run at you in the stretch, but uh, she was able to do what she needed her to do. Yeah, definitely. I have to give her a couple of reminders right at the end. She was getting a little bit, you know, uh, lost uh, the last uh, furlong, but she's a very honest filly. We always liked her from the beginning, and uh, I'm glad, you know, uh, Dan and uh, the partner, uh, Madakez or Kumi, they were able to, to secure the win today and uh, get 10 points, you know, for the toward the Kentucky Oaks. You've uh, ridden a lot of the good ones, Monomoy Girl, a chief amongst them. Do you think this is a horse that can go on to the Silver Bullet Day, the Rachel Alexandra, the uh, Fairgrounds Oaks, etc.? You think she's got room uh, for improvement moving forward? Yes, definitely. It's a feel we always like, you know, like I said from the beginning. And uh, uh, I'm, I'm hoping, you know, I don't see many, you know, especially in that circuit here, who, uh, who you know, uh, blow my mind. I didn't see, you know, winners. Uh, breaking the man by 15 lengths and uh, track record and things like this. So I think it's going to be pretty much uh, the same filly around here in that circuit. It's going to be probably between here, I know I will say, uh, and, uh, and Arkansas. But uh, why not, you know, staying here and, uh, and, and we know the routes, you know, like you said, you know, between uh, uh, Monomoy Girl, we did, uh, Charlotte Box, I had the, the chance of reading and uh, even that filly uh, on top of all. So it's great to win the race, you know, after her and uh, hopefully we can win the next one with Gunrunner too. Congratulations, Gunrunner, coming up a little bit later on. A big day for you guys so far. Could be even bigger. Uh, enjoy this one. Thank you, Joe. Right, Florent Giroux wins the untappable here. Uh, Alpine Princess, excuse me, Brad Cox's third training win of the day.